What's up, Amani? Um, just a great effort by you guys today defensively. Uh, just kind of talk about what, what happened from the get-go for you guys because it looks like you, you started early and ended strong as well. Yeah, we just wanted to come out strong and, you know, play a full four quarters. Uh, last year, uh, last week we gave up the first half and we didn't like how we played, but we came out the second half and, you know, this game we just want to make sure that we could play, you know, the full four quarters and play as a defense. Buck? You know, Monty, I know every week is different in the NFL, but what 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 changed, if anything, for you guys defensively where you were so much more effective on third down than you have arguably in, in any of the weeks past? I think guys just locking in this week. <clears throat> you know, we didn't feel good about last week, so we just want to lock come in, lock in, and, you know, just do your job. You know, if you just do your job, then, you know, plays will come your way, and that's how defense works for each other. So, you know, guys just, this week just came out, you know, just did their thing and just, and just did their job. Yeah, Amani, how was the communication out there for you guys? Because that's something that obviously everyone continues to mention. How was that for, for you guys today? It was good. You know, I mean, obviously we have some here, miscues here and there, but I mean, overall, we were just getting lined up and just playing fast. You know, you, you didn't want to have too much time talking and, you know, going back and forth with each other. You just want to get lined up and just play. For you guys, is it as simple as getting a call, giving a call, passing it like that? I mean, is that really what the communication boils down to? Yeah, definitely. I mean, every play you should be talking to the guy next to you. I mean, that way you can help him, help him out regardless. I mean, if you, you might know something that he hasn't known, he might know something that you don't know. So it's good just to have that com uh, conversation quick and precise. At what point did, uh, did you know that, that Kenny's uh, sickness was going to keep him out and have to flip that switch? Uh, it was a uh, Saturday morning. So I, I didn't have much time from like, just like the Ravens games too much. You gotten used to that out of the Ravens game and, and uh, know that you might have to do that? Uh, I mean, I don't, I guess I just prepare as a starter. I mean, regardless, I mean, that's my job. I'm prepared to play in and go in at, you know, a lot of positions if I'm, if my name is called. So um, I know a lot of guys in our locker room, if their name is called, they're going in and do the exact same thing. Harry. Amani, what changes for you? Because I'm assuming that all week long you prepared for your dime back role and then now you're thrust into the starting safety role. What what changes preparation wise for you uh when that happens in the midweek? Um, you know, like like I said, not much changes. I mean I just I prepare as if I'm gonna be starting that safety. That way I can help out K B and Kenny if they if they see if they don't see something I can help them out on the sideline. So you know, I just try to do my best to stay up to speed, you know, try and stay neck with that neck with neck and neck with Kenny and K B during the week about, you know, the, the first and second down stuff and not just the, the third down stuff as well. Two more than you, Jenny. Buck. Yeah, Amani, uh, Malcolm, Malcolm's having one of his best seasons here in Tennessee. How do you guys kind of feed off the energy that he seems to carry out with him onto the field? Yeah, I mean, he, he brings good energy. You know, he's locked in. Every time he gets the pass break up, you know, he's, he's hype and it hype brings us and helps us get hype as well. And, you know, when he's playing well, we play well. Last question, Paul. So on uh, Robinson's big run, you really shot through a gap there, but he was maybe already through. Uh, can you just kind of talk us through your perspective on that play? Yeah, you know, I got I to gotta make that tackle, but I just, you know, shot the gap, try to make a play. Uh, you know, he's a good back, too. He gets paid as well, and, you know, he, he got one on me.